This section of the video will a section of video will cover using the extrude command, um, which can be found in the uh, modify menu. Uh, how to cut new geometry and how to split polygons, all of which are very um, common tools and and techniques for subdivision modeling. So I'm using a basic cube here. So right click, create and then we'll just use a basic cube with no options changed and then using keyboard D which is se selecting face mode click once to select it and then modify and extrude now in the center there we've got a little icon Let's and what that actually does for us is it allows us to move in and out on, on a local move as you can see so if I go left it goes in if I go right it goes out and does an extrude if I then want to go to keyboard W and use some of the manipulator functions I can use keyboard W move that face keyboard E change the scale of the face in and out keyboard R to rotate should I need to okay so we'll do it one more time and we won't use the drop down now, we'll use keyboard Z. Like so. Keyboard Z. Left and right, so obviously we want to go out. Just do a few more. Keyboard Z. Out. Where we would use the um, rolling it the other way, indenting, is if we wanted to do something like this. So keyboard, and you just move it a little bit further forward. Hit Z, scale it in, hit Z again, and move it in, hit Z again and move it in, and we indent even more like so. And that's given us an indent, so we use an extrude to actually make a uh, cavity. If I just use keyboard C and show you that subdivided you can see that that will be a way of creating a shape um, a, a, an indented shape. Okay. Now that's one of the um, most popular tools for box modeling because you would create an arm or a leg just by extruding out off the main body. Now if you want to add more geometry there are several ways to do it. So if I wanted to split this polygon all the way around here, literally all the way around like so, there's a number of ways to do it. So I could first of all select two faces and that gives us um, an idea of where we're going to run the, the selection. I'll use Alt and E, which has actually selected everything in that loop all the way around. I'll show you on a, this part of the model. Select two, Alt and E selects all the way around. And then if I use Shift and X, it runs a split all the way down the middle, all the way down where you defined. Now what you can also do is using Edge Mode, so keyboard S, like so, just hover the mouse over the edge that you want to begin the split and it will split all the way from that edge to that edge that edge all the way around so I'll just show you, holding it over the edge I don't know if you can see it very well, try it on this one, this edge there and shift an X and it splits it along that edge all the way around so once again I'll show you that this way, hold it over the edge like so, shift an X and it splits it all the way through so you can actually split in a localized area by just selecting um, two polygons. So if I wanted to split from there to there, I'd go to face mode, just select one face there, holding down shift, select a second face. Alt and E would select between those two points, those two faces, not all the way through. And then if I use shift and X, it would split just those faces. Again, another way to add it. I'll just undo that because I don't want that. Get rid of that split. So if I want to um, add a an edge all around here or more polygons around here, and the reason we do that is if I subdivide this, this is rounded off far too much and it's gone far too sharp in here. So if I run a split 
along here by holding in edge mode, holding over that edge, and then shift X and it goes in there. It didn't want it there, I wanted it here, so what you do is hold shift, hold it over the edge, shift and X, but hold it so you're holding both of those down and you get the option now to slide. So I can slide left or right by moving the mouse um, to the left or the right and then drop it exactly where you want it. We want that one right close to the edge. If you now see the difference that has made, it's giving you a much tighter, crisper edge there. So I'll do it on the inside now, just to show you again. Just to see where I want to run it, I can do the selection of the edges like so, their faces. So I've used the Alt and the E to select around the inside. And if I use Shift and X but hold it, I've got the ability to slide in and out like so. You can go beyond the edge. Uh, for this one, I'm going to go in there like so. Back to object mode, keyboard C, and you can see now you've got quite a nice defined shape because of the crisp edges. Okay, so unsubdivide with V. We'll just run a couple more splits. So I'll put one round there. You see how quickly you can do this now. I'll put uh, one down here. A couple more in here for no reason other than the fact to, to show you we're doing it. Okay, so there's lots of splits in there. Now if I was to now need to um, add more polygons, faces, edges, etc. But I didn't want to just run a split because quite often you don't want to run splits right the way through models like we've done now. You want to just localize um, part of it. So what you can do is use the cut tool which is from here, modify, cut and it's keyboard X. So if I go to F for object mode, let's find a nice area so we'll work on the back here and I want to add some local geometry I'll use keyboard X and that now gives me if you move along you're going to get a, an option to drop a point either on an edge or on a, uh, a point or a vertice and start a cut so if I drop it on that point there you'll see it go green and if I move now to another point it will cut between those two and I can carry on cutting as much as I want now so if I wanted to go all the way around there I could go like so. I could end that tool with escape and that's given me now a whole lot of new geometry by using the cut tool. Now that was on um, using point after point after point. If I now go to the same tool, so object mode F and go to X to call up the cut tool start on a point if you like but then I can actually cut in the middle of an edge and that now divides that into two edges and if I carry on like so and carry on and then join up again to a point Now what that's done it's given me some what we call localized detail so if I haven't run a split all the way around but what I've done is I've put a, a, a split that goes across this back. If I want to then carry on, do X again and just cut across the middle, what that's done is given me local uh, local detail. So I've got now, let's just pull that around, I've got more geometry here without actually, so more geometry in that one area without having to split all the way around. And you can go absolutely crazy with the cut tool and you could just cut to your heart's content like so in the middle of, a f of an edge in the middle of an edge on a point and then you can even go within a polygon face like so so I'm not clicking on an edge or a point I'm just literally in the middle of a face I'm just cutting like so now I can work backwards up it like so if I click on an existing point all it will do is repeat the cut, it won't actually do another cut but I can work back like that if I need to and then carry on to there. It does follow on in a line, if I want to now cut from there to there it won't work simply because it's crossing too many points so if I want to go from there to 
there it won't work again there's already a cut um, so what you would do there is um, if I want to now make some sense of these polygons because what we've got there is what's called n-gons which is polygons with one two three four five six edges um, not a thing that you usually be using subdivision modeling so we'll cut a click here and that would make us a quad 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 I'd click down here to start again that's giving me a quad quad triangle um, and then if we even want to down here we can just well, we can just cut whatever we want really um, what you can do if you've got a problem let's end the tool with escape is if anything's uh, not working for you you can actually delete it out and delete the component out so I could select the face delete that out uh, the edge sorry I could select the face and delete that out if needed as you can see that's giving me a hole delete more of them delete these move the points around like so and then we can uh, if if needed we rebuild that by filling in which I'll show in the in the next video so that covers off um using the extrude and splitting loops and cutting with the cut tool so what we'll do now is we'll try it on a a, a more um a live model so to speak so I'll call up a head shape so we'll do file new scene get rid of that we'll just open let's just open Head. I'll just open a basic head shape like so. So we'll just use some of the tools that we've just gone through. So if we're working on a, a head, and this is mirrored across uh, the x-axis, um, and it's also using instance mirror, so we can only actually affect this side as we showed in earlier videos. If I want to add more geometry for this eye, what I can do is select those four faces so I'm in face mode and I've just used shift and selected each of them and then if I just use keyboard Z and I scale that down that gives me more geometry around the eye and it gives me a nice edge loop all the way around here and what I did there to select that loop was different than what we showed earlier so I selected one hold down shift and double click and that gives us selection all the way around the loop. So here again, select that one, double click, and it selects that one. Now, if I want to then use the split tool, instead of using extrude, I just use a selector ring like so, and X. Or, if you remember, instead of doing that, we can just hover over the edge, like any of these edges here, and it will run a split all the way around, with shift and X all the way around again. And then we can go in keyboard W holding down control and we can just tweak to our heart's content to get the eye shape that you want which is the normal way to do that so let's just do a couple more extrudes so we'll just select some faces along here keyboard Z and then W and it just gives us the ability to extrude out a nose shape we would probably go in and clean this up when we're tweaking, but it gives us a very quick shape. Now I'm tweaking using, as I've already said, holding down control and just using the left mouse button. Let's just give him some definition while we're working on him. So give him some forehead out here. A lot of this is explained in a later box modeling uh, video which you can take a look at from the silo site so again that was using extrude and if I want to cut more polygons in here if you remember we use keyboard X and I want to cut more definition I'm just going to touch between the face the edge touch between the edge and keep working my way down could split down but we don't want to split all the way through this model so we'll just split down to about here escape just tweak this back 
we will be doing more work around here we would be doing more work if we were going anywhere with this model around the lip area but that's given us a bit more geometry to work with and then you would go back and tweak after doing that and then we can go back and do even more so if we go back to face mode and use um, extrude reduce it down indent it keyboard Z which is another extrude maybe scale it that's given us a nice nostril area the edge loops aren't exactly where we'd want them um, but just showing you these tools that's fine now to run a split all the way through here we'd want more definition around here so I can probably risk a split all the way through so what we do is select edge mode and then shift and then pick pick an edge where you want the, the the run to go and then shift and X and keep it held down and move it so if we say closer to that one and then tweak so straight away we've got much more many more polygons to work with and that splits run all the way around the back of the head so you have to make a choice whether you want that much geometry there's, there's too much geometry here um, for my liking so we would go in and either tweak or remove that but just by using the tools that I've shown you you can create your rough um, uh, sh block out your shapes really so hit keyboard C and you can see still very rough but it's giving us the basic edge loops here and the basic edge loops here and that's how you would um, create heads really using subdivision modeling if you're using a box modeling mode okay if I just um, one thing that I want to cover off is extruding with different components so I'll clear this off so we've shown it up pretty much so far with faces so and that's generally what you would use for box modeling if I just remove that top face and then show you double click all the edges so I've now got just edges selected like so just showing you them moving I'll use the extrude command and we're just extruding edges now as you can see which is just a different way of doing um, using that command so just keep doing it just to keep showing you and this is more applicable to point by point modeling so if you begin to create a model say a face you'll do a lot of edge extrusion like so rather than face extrusion okay so that's the basic tools for uh, extruding, cutting geometry and splitting polygons.